Uh, okay, this one I will explain about how to draw a line from two points. So we need point, so I will drag two point here. And then simply I will select, I will set a value, set one point somewhere here. And using right mouse button click, uh, set one point, and then click here. And let's see what's, what are these, the values of this point. So I connect uh, this one. So this one shows that this point is at x 2.4, y 13.5, and 0. And I'll simply use another one. Uh, I'll connect here. And this one is 21, and 1, and 0. And let's see what is the data type look like. So I will use uh, this tree viewer. And when I connect it, this one says that data with one branch and the, the number is one. Uh, as we see here, there's only one uh, coordinate here. And then I will uh, drag one more and then connect it again. And if I if you double click it, it will show visually the structure and which is this one is it at the first uh, level it has one data inside and I also using I will copy it by using Ctrl C and Ctrl V and then I will one more time Ctrl V and connect here and I will reconnect for the second point and I will double click this one so this one shows the data structure to draw a line or curve <coughs> I'll simply use curve or line and let's use line here I double click at the em at, at any empty space I type line uh, probably I can use this one and then it requires a start point so I connect my point here and then this point for end point and this will draw a curve draw a line here and if you want to use another line and then if you want to so I will so now we just finish uh, draw finish drawing a line I'll simply copy all those things using Ctrl C and Ctrl V and I will move it down so this one now I reset a new point which is right mouse button set one point somewhere here and reset the second point somewhere here so we have four points and two two curves two lines here and to draw a lofted surface are simply using loft and this one requires curves so what I would do, and then okay, before doing this, let's check what is the data type for these two lines. So I'll also use panel, and then if I, when I connect it, this one says that it has one line, and then I will check the data structure using tree viewer. And when I connect it, this one says same thing with uh, the our point data that has one branch inside I will copy it and paste it and if I double click it it does it shows that this one every data which actually there's only one data at the first at the first level so I copy this one again Ctrl C and Ctrl V then I will move it down here and I will reconnect from this one length is 29 but data structure is the same and now I connect now I connect these two lines to loft it so I'll draw line here actually this one is actually a new one uh, if you want to add a second input for this multi-curve input using a uh, press shift button and drag it then actually you can loft it and let's take a look at uh, the result using panel so the data is now is untrimmed surface and the data structure is what one branch 
and then I will copy and paste and then actually that visually what does this mean is at every uh, this data is actually at the first level so this one is actually our raw uh, code and then now uh, I, I will start to refactor it using first group so I will first of all I will call this one as using scribble I call and double click it I will call this one first uh, select four point so I'll just simply select four point and then I will using group so this one is our first process first step in our algorithm and this one also using scribble I call the second step as draw lines between uh, two sets of points so this one simply draw lines between those two those points and I group it group them and finally I loft these two curves the third one this one loft two curves and make a surface so this one is basically very simple algorithm that shows the flow of the program so this one is our uh, first refactoring so this one is ready so I will save it for uh, uh, loft demo again grouping and then now I'm going to um, now I want to make them uh, as clusters so I simply select one and then I'll make it as cluster and this one is I rename it uh, I'll call it probably select input point and there are four points coming out and I select this, these groups and then I call them I make it as cluster and then I call it as uh, make curves from point and then finally the last one also using cluster I call it make a lofted surface so this one is actually this one is our finally uh, second refactored code uh, okay thanks